another view over the Detroit River here as the heat intensifies today again. Seven first let meteorologist Sally Vogel, of course, is back with us with a look at how hot it's going to get. And when are we going to get a break from this heat, Hallie? I know, Alicia, it's not uncommon for us to get 90 degree days during the summer. As a matter of fact, we average about a dozen for the entire summer. What is unusual is to see the stretch of almost a dozen right in a row. So we are on day seven, two more to go. So I mentioned earlier, this would be the second longest stretch of 90 degree temperatures in a row that we've had in Detroit. The longest is 11 back in 1953. So we have the heat advisory and we have an air quality alert today. So keep that in mind and it is very muggy. So our heat index in the mid to upper 90s to near 100 in some cases. So we always say, if you can, you wanna limit your time outdoors. And with the high humidity, the high heat like yesterday a few of these pop-up storms while few storms may pop up most of us will miss out so i do want to stress that temperature right now in novi 90 degrees it's a tough go for you in plymouth you're at 91 belleville at 91 redford you're already soaring to 92 degrees like southfield birmingham alike and 89 degrees right now in st Clair. so temperatures already approaching the 90 degree mark mid 90s for highs this afternoon and we talked about how muggy it is so when we have our heat index as high as it is going to be a dangerous go just like yesterday so really no changes and we're going to see the same pattern as we go through the day tomorrow so watch for that and with an air quality alert for all counties except Sanilac, Lapeer, and Lenaway, we always say, too, if you have any respiratory issues, just try to stay in the AC. Try to take those breaks. We have a little bit of rain moving through northern Wisconsin, trying to meander into the western UP, and that's about it for anything organized. As we develop a lake breeze today, we could get a few of these storms. The timing would be between 2 o'clock this afternoon and 8 p.m. So if you are enjoying trying to get cool and maybe getting out to the pool, keep in mind, after 2 o'clock, it may be having to take those activities back indoors as a few storms pop up with temperatures already in the low 90s and most cases into the mid 90s. So here we go with our hour by hour forecast. I want to show you when we see these scattered storms, areas like Highland completely miss out on a storm, but it pops up over Pontiac, moves through Ferndale into the Gross Points. St. Clair Shores could certainly get a heavier downpour, so very widely scattered is our aim as we go through the afternoon. And the same pattern tomorrow, so virtually unchanged with the time after 2 p.m. until about 8 p.m. for more storms on your Thursday. So temperatures today, we reach 95 for a high in the city, so we're talking very high heat, and of course the heat index even higher with temperatures not comfortable at all tonight. Down to 74 degrees. We stay in the mid-90s on Thursday, 90 on Friday. 90 looks to be the best time to see more numerous storms as a cold front moves through, lowering our temperatures for the weekends. There's some relief there. Stay with us. We have more 7 Action News ahead.